Hello and welcome back to another video. So this time we're going to be talking about something a little bit more meta. Woohoo, how interesting. Yeah, so it's just the nature of, you know, like positive things, negative things, you know, critique and all that stuff. And um, why I do it on the channel and the purpose of those videos. Now this is a video that's, I think, quite obviously came off the back of, you know, just like a lot of the time I do a video that's like, say, 15 positive awesome things about Draenor, and then, you know, 15 not so awesome things about Draenor. And by the way, in both videos I did mention the other one, you know, because balanced opinions, but a lot of people I think kind of missed the point, and um, I can totally see how that happens actually. Um, especially, you know, if, like, in search results, you see a video that's, like, 15 awesome things in Draenor, and then you go onto the channel and see the next video is, like, 15 bad things in Draenor, then it, it comes off as a bit weird, so I think I just kind of owe it to you guys just to explain, um, you know, what the, what, A, what the point is, and B, you know, why I do all that stuff. So, first of all, um, I think that if you're going to be positive, then you need to also cast your eye on the other side of things, because unfortunately nothing is perfect. Believe me, I want nothing more than for World of Warcraft to be the perfect game. I, I think, as I'm sure many of you know, like, I do think it is the best MMO on the market by a pretty decent margin, and certainly the numbers would agree with me. And, um, you know, the fact that the game's just had such, uh, you know, just such a long lifespan, that's all, all came out pretty, uh, pretty good for it. But, you know, Draenor, it's... In my opinion, like, it's better than Cataclysm, it's better than Mop, I've been having a blast in the beta, but again, you know, not everything's perfect, and one of the things that I think is, is really cool about just, you know, people talking with each other is we can all share opinions on what we like and what we don't like, and the best thing about that, really, for, you know, moving forward and progressing is that through that, you know, we can learn what people generally like, what people generally don't like, share opinions, think about things, and eventually what all this lovely big soup of positives and negatives leads to is hopefully... Learning. Do you know what learning leads to? Learning leads to stuff being better, and I think we can all agree that stuff being better is a pretty darn good goal for, um, you know, for things. Um, like, if you look at that, say, uh, video about the negative things in Draenor, they're all things I think could be improved upon, and that's why I brought them up in the video. And, like, yeah, I am going to give just as much airtime to something that's maybe not perfect, um, you know, as something that is perfect, or not perfect, you know, something that's not good as opposed to something that is good, because... What, when you see something that's really good in a game, what you can do is you can say, hey, this is awesome, let's try to find out why it's awesome, and let's just, like, encourage that and say, good job, and give Blizzard a pat on the back. And then if there's something negative, then hopefully, you know, you can call it out and say, yo, guys, I think this is a bit problematic, there's maybe one or two issues. Maybe it's not all bad, maybe it's a bit multifaceted, but hopefully what happens then is that you kind of learn. And the reason why I give equal airtime to both is because they're both just as important, really. Now, some people have said maybe not to do negative videos, or at least try to gloss over the negatives, or you know, just kind of belittle them a bit. And the reason, well, one of the reasons why I'm not going to do that is because it's lying. It's lying to my audience, and I'd feel really shitty if I did that. I mean, if I just sat here, you know, with, with an audience and then just started speaking into a microphone saying about how amazing everything was, then, like, I'm just doing Blizzard's PR work for them. I feel like a shill. A bit dirty, you know? Um, it's, it's about being honest, and I'm not going to lie to people. If I don't think that a certain aspect of something is good, I'm not going to lie and tell you that it's good. The, you know, those at the other side of the monitor are actually people who, who listen to things, and, you know, I've, I've been listening to YouTube videos far longer than I've been making them, so I know that side just as well, and I don't like being lied to, and that's why I'm not going to lie to people. Well, I suppose that it is probably more important to give airtime to the negatives, because maybe they're a bit more glaring, but... I mean, like, generally, as, as much as this may surprise some of you, I'm more of a positive person in general, so that's why I enjoy just, you know, looking at, say, the dungeons and warlords of Draenor and just talking about how much I like them and why I find them fun. And I enjoy making those videos a lot, but when it comes to things like that, you know, those negative videos, it's not me trying to just attack it, you know, it's me just trying to, you know, say, there's maybe a few problems, and generally, before I do one of those videos, I'll, um, you know, I'll, I'll go around the internet to the beta forums and I'll see what other people are thinking. And generally, it's the kind of stuff that a lot of other people will have thought as well, and maybe stuff that, say, would have been posted on the beta forums. And I think, you know, even just me doing one of those videos kind of maybe helps signal boost something and hopefully gets just a bit of a discussion going on. I mean, really, what would be nice, obviously, it's not like Blizzard watch any of this crap, re you know, realistically. Um, so really, that means that my goal is just to get, pe you know, get, pe get people thinking. And because I actually really enjoy thinking about all these game designy things, because, well, I've been playing games for quite a while, and I guess the natural progression of playing games is you just start to think more about them and, and what makes them fun. So yeah, really, the goal of these videos is just to bring up a few points about the good, the bad, the ugly, and have a bit of a chat about it. I think maybe 
I, like some people take them a little bit too seriously in some ways. Like, you know, if I say one bad thing, it doesn't mean that I hate World of Warcraft or, or something like that. I mean, come on, I've been playing this game for eight years. I've been kind of raiding on and off since, you know, for, for six of those years. Um, at decent enough levels, okay, rarely heroics, I mean, we dabble in heroics, but up, up to normals, up to normals, hopefully maybe a few mythics and what, but, you know, I've been playing this game quite a lot over the last while, I've probably gone for over five or six or seven or, I don't know, even eight a thousand hours, who the hell knows, I, I dread to find out that number, um, so it's not like I'm hating on WoW, or I hate WoW, I do these videos because I literally do actually care about the, um, the, the game being good, and I do care about giving feedback, and, just having a chat about it. I mean, really, when I started this channel, like, it took a very long time for it to grow, and if I really hated WoW for all that time, uh, it just wouldn't have grown. It just wouldn't have grown, and I would have been driven mad by, I guess, doing something that I hated for, for like, a year and a half. So, yeah, that's what's going on with those videos. Basically, it's all about having a chat. Not, uh, not as serious as maybe some of you may think. Bit chill. And, uh, yeah, have, have fun with it. That's, that's the goal. We all play games to have fun, right? So, you know what, if, you, if those videos that are maybe negative aren't fun to you, then don't watch them. And I'm not saying that in a kind of rude, snarky, or sarcastic way. I mean, literally, you know, it's 30 whatever minutes of your life, and you should use that whatever the hell you want. You'll probably have more fun playing bloody World of Warcraft than watching, uh, than watching one of those videos, so by all means, go and do that. Um, it just so happens that sometimes those videos do quite well because of the, the whole list format, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. And, you know, they do quite well, so maybe people think they're more serious than they are or something like that, but... I mean, hey, my mantra for YouTube is that it's just about being honest into a microphone for however much time you feel comfortable with, and that's only what I try to do. Not really trying to offend people, not trying to raise... raise something, ruffle feathers, I don't know. General phrases, not trying to do them. And yeah, so that's what this channel is, and I guess that if someone kind of stumbles across the channel, they think, oh yeah, here, a big WoW fan site, whatever, and then they see things that maybe are not always sort of positive about WoW, then maybe it may be surprising when there's a, a bit of a negative video or something like that. Um, that's unfortunate, but I'm not really going to change, because ultimately, doing this is about making the videos that I want to make and the topics that I want to, to talk about, and if my heart's not in it, then I'm not going to be able to make content that's fun for anyone. So, it's the sort of thing where, you know, if you're a YouTuber, you can't, you need to cater to your audience, yeah, but you can't do exactly what they say all the time, or you can't cater to every single request, because then you start to lose your identity. I'm sure you all maybe know some, like, niche thing that you really enjoyed, and then maybe it just got super, you know, big and mainstream, and whoever was responsible for it started kind of just listening to the popular demands, and then you maybe found that whatever you like kind of lost its soul. I want to, I just want to make sure that doesn't happen, because... Um, yeah, it sucks when that happens. Anyway, look, this has been a rambly video, but, I mean, hey, I said that at the start, so y'all should expect it. But, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's the video done. I've, I've covered my points. Hurrah. Maybe you've lasted this long. If you haven't, then, well, you won't hear this, so why am I even talking? Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.